Hi everybody, um, this is a quick demo of Three Musketeers, um, a simple tool to be able to um, help you test and debug um, any 3.js application. Um, with the source code, you have this simple example that has a set of um, box geometries. Um, you have controls over them. And basically, you have um, some really fine interactions that the ones that you, the boxes that you click on, they basically scale up. And when you click back on them, they scale down. Um, and this is very precise. For example, if I click on this portion of the box, this one it, um, expands. If I click here, this one expands. So anyways, um, we basically wrote some very simple automated testing to test this application with Three Musketeers. Um, to install Three Musketeers, you simply just um, npm install and um, you basically just initialize it with the render, scene, and camera. There are other ways to initialize it that you can see within the um, documentation to be able to provide these resources at a later time, but however, we'll keep things simple. We attach it on the window global object with just a $3 symbols, and let's see how that works. So, let's um, first make sure that the instance is correct, which is true, because we've, uh, we've given it all the resources that, um, that it's uh, required for it to be functional. And basically, each of these geometries, they have their own um, names or IDs, and you can um, query them based basically um, with their unique identifiers. So for example, um, box zero is the first box here. And if I, and you have these um, chainable methods, you can see that it exists. But if I um, do some random, that item does not exist in the scene. And these are basically just strings that query um, for names of objects in the scene. You can also uh, pass in um, a qualifier as long as this function returns true. That's, a, that's an item that matches that particular find query. So for example, if I do name n.name, which is what we did um, earlier, this will also return to us that particular element. Um, the interesting thing about this, um, we, it actually has all of the uh, the methods um, of the 3JS object. So you can basically query for anything, whether the position is here or whether it's, um, for example, the, the type, it's a mesh type, whether it's a box geometry um, through the geometry. Anyways, you get all of the methods of 3JS, but you augment some other functions. For example, um, clicking has children, whether it exists, and you can kind of see that in action. But anyways, um, so we're going to just basically find the first box. And just like what we kind of showed you earlier, we're going to click on it. So basically with click, it finds the item in the 3D, um, in the 3D scene, um, and it maps the coordinates onto the mouse. It moves the mouse there, and it clicks it for you. So when I click that, you can see that the first box here um, expanded. Um, if I go to the, the second box, you can see that happens. If you actually want to see the, the mouse cursor, you can do so by um, turning on the debug mode. Um, by default, it's true. You can also pass false if you want to turn it back off. But anyways, we'll turn it back on so we can see it. And now you can see the mouse um, in action. But let's say we want to click um, a series of elements. You can do so with find all. And find all, we're going to basically get all of the nodes. And we're going to say, give me all of the nodes that have the, um, the name box basically so it doesn't matter what um, ID it is as long as it has um, the word box in there we should get all of them and we can see that we have 25 in an array now we're just going to map over every single one uh, no dot click just like before and it selects every single one as we can see um, this is better illustrated with by the way since debug is a global setting you don't have to do that anymore so just remove that and um, as just to be able to kind of demonstrate this sorry it's a mute keyboard i'm having a hard time typing uh, click it's just to do every half a second let's bring the index in the map uh, so basically we're finding we're finding um, all the boxes that have this particular ID, which are 25 of them, as we saw before. Then um, 
every half a second we're clicking each individual one. So you can see that the mouse it's moving and I can actually move this in real time and the mouse kind of interacts. So anyways um, this is kind of there are a lot more methods that you can see here um, in the documentation. You have things for example um, simulating any type of events, clicking, mouse moving, um, and stuff like that. Get resource allows for you to get the camera, render, and stuff like that. And if you want to zoom in manually with three musketeers, you can do so. Um, anyways, um, there are a lot of methods. I highly recommend going through the documentation and providing your feedback if you want um, other things to help you do testing. So let's kind of see how this would work with an automated um, test suite. Uh, the nice thing about Three Musketeers is that it's um, it's agnostic of any framework that you want to use. So for example, you can run this with Selenium, you can run this with Nightwatch, or any other test suite that you would like. Um, in our case, um, we're running Nightwatch. So in the example here, we're just we're basically just testing out the functionality, whether the boxes exist. When you click on them, they all um, get this flag is selected, um, selected. Um, it gets toggled here, um, that when you actually click on them, we look for the scale of the object to make sure that it's not one, basically it's scaled upwards. If you click back on it, the scale um, on the X, Y, Z, it's turned back to one. It was very straightforward. Um, so npm run test E to E, and it runs through these, this, this set of functions that we're testing for. And you can see, um, this works exactly as a user would interact with this application. Um, anyways, uh, I highly recommend looking through the documentation. Um, if you have any questions, please use uh, the GitHub um, process through pull requests and issues. And I'm sure myself or the community board are happy to help you out. Thank you.